Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here we have today from the High Grey Build Divers is an unboxing of the Gundam 00 Sky Heavy Weapon System Trans Am Infinity Mode. Now, I am a pretty pretty big 00 Sky fan. Uh, I do have the other two uh, variants, but I did not really want to get this because I just didn't feel like I needed a third one. However, um, just I, I just kept looking at it and I think it's an okay looking kid and most of you in the audience, you definitely went, went ahead and kind of uh, edged me on just to go ahead and purchase it because a lot of you are interested as well in the overall looks and designs and everything. So um, this is definitely going to be something I'm kind of, you know, doing for y'all. I'm probably not even going to keep this, uh, but I definitely want to go ahead and show you what this kit is going to be all about. So let's just take a look at the front cover art. It looks really good. You definitely see those uh, little effect wings right here on the side that's coming out uh, from where the uh, GN drives are. Looks really good. Uh, the overall Trans Am colors look pretty good as well. I'm pretty sure uh, the inside of this is going to be very like high gloss. So it should look pretty good. And the weapon systems on the backpack and the arms and legs, those don't look too bad as well. This was released in 2018 and retails for 2300 yen. And we're looking on the side over here, you see it comes with all the same weapons that it came with in its previous editions. Uh, so you do have the beam sabers, the buster sword, the long rifle, and the beam rifle. Uh, looks like the stand is going to be included, which is super, super good. I love it when they include stands, but uh, I don't know, this stand looks like it might be the weaker version. Like the, uh, there's the one that is three different parts connected. Um, I'd rather get like one of the more solid ones like this one, but we'll go ahead and see once we crack this bad boy open. Uh, but definitely some poses are looking pretty good. I definitely like the little rocket launchers on the, uh, the legs as well as the arms. And in the backpack, the little Lancer, um, what is it called? The Lancer Missile looks pretty good. Uh, and then you have the large missile pods. All that looks pretty cool. And all of, obviously it's um, rival over here, the Gundam H2 Magnum SV version. So this is definitely a kit I'm looking out for come next month. And over here is a front and rear shot of the kit. There's also some description of it. So let's go ahead and get this opened. All right, so the first runner we're gonna start off with is runner B. Uh, most of it's pretty much gonna be a metallic-like plastic. Uh, you are gonna have this red down here, obviously for like the face and the waist. And then all this purple over here, which looks pretty good, you know, nonetheless. Uh, I think it is a, a very nice, bright purple. And then over here, you're gonna have some of that much darker uh, pink, but the problem is I'm already seeing is like a lot of the plastic just kind of looks um, very odd with the the color like molding if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Not very very too familiar with how the process is with this so I would definitely like to go ahead and research online. Uh, but you, do, you just see like I guess where the actual color injection was made. Uh, it's kind of like very wavy in some areas so that's the only thing I never really cared about with these type of plastics is not the plastic, but the way they color these parts is that it just it looks kind of off and very odd. So that's what makes me want to forcefully paint these uh, type of kits. Uh, but for this one, I'm just going to definitely do a uh, straight build. And you're also going to have some yellow right up here. And then next is going to be runner A. So runner A is going to be a lot of these clear parts, like in the last uh, renditions of the Double O Sky. And you're going to have this very nice, uh, almost like a gunmetal. Uh, not quite. It's I guess it'd be more gloss like gloss black maybe uh, but it looks pretty good all the inner frame very very glossy most pretty much all this kit is going to be very very glossy uh, but yeah this is all gonna be mostly the inner frame type parts and here is runner C which is gonna have this very nice bright pink uh, overall I think the pink looks pretty good it has a lot of glossy uh, kind of texture over it so this is something I think is gonna look really good on your shelf if you just just decide to go ahead and straight build it and here is going to be Runner D. Runner D is going to be the weapon set for the kit. Uh, looks like it's going to have um, some nice gloss overall. So as you can see, definitely high gloss. The problem I have with that is like I really wish this would have been more dulled down. But nonetheless, I think it looks really good with the uh, gloss and the weapon, the color, all of it looks fantastic. And now we're looking at runners that are unique and new to this kit just for the uh, HWS purpose. Uh, these are just some great parts, nothing really too spectacular, pretty much the same high gloss as the, uh, the runner with all the weapons. And here you're going to have two runner Gs. Well, 
The blue looks pretty good. I will give it that. But I do wish it was uh, something a little bit darker. Maybe a very dark blue. I think that would have contrasted maybe better with the overall kit. Uh, but nonetheless, these are the part of the heavy weapon system. So once again, these are unique to the kit itself. Uh, looks good. I like the cannons. I like the uh, little missile pods. So very excited to go ahead and build these. And then the last two new runners is going to be Runner I. Uh, what these are, just more parts, like, you know, these are going to be for the missile pods, uh, these are going to be for Lance, and then this should be for, if I'm not mistaken, all the missiles on the uh, hands and the feet. So, the pink looks good, uh, pretty much the same as the other runner. And here you're going to have a clear green piece for the chest. You get a set of beam sabers as well as the beam effect parts for the Buster Sword. You get a stand, a very cheap stand, but a stand nonetheless. Polycap sheets, a small sticker sheet, some advertisement for the Gundam Base Tokyo, which generally has a lot of cool little exclusives, and then the manual, which isn't really going to say too much different. Um, I think the only thing they're really going to have different in here is going to be the construction of the, um, the heavy weapon system. If I can go ahead and find that for y'all, and here we go. So yeah, basically the uh, construction of the heavy weapon system, very, very short. This kit shouldn't take me long at all. Maybe just uh, just a couple of days, probably, maybe maybe three, because I'm very slow at building. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this and hopefully I can get this review out to y'all relatively soon. Uh, so that way y'all can make a judgment call on if you want to purchase this kit or not. But other than that, guys, definitely thank you for watching and I'll be seeing y'all in the review. Bye-bye.